Hi Cancer, welcome to my channel Cancer Moon Oracles. My name is Rosa and I am coming in with your weekly love reading where in this video we are going to take a look and see what is surrounding you in love. This is a general reading Cancer. If any part of the reading should resonate, please hit the like button to let me know. Uh, this reading can be good for, good for Sun, Moon, Venus and Rising Cancerian placements and to the cross watchers. Checking in on a Cancerian, please take the messages as they best resonate for you. You can reverse the roles here today, everyone. Otherwise, I do highly recommend a personal booking. And all the details on how to work with me and connect with me are in the descriptions box below. And if you would like to join the Cancer Moon community but you haven't already done so, be sure to subscribe to the channel. That would be greatly appreciated. Otherwise, Cancer, I do hope that you have all been well. Thank you for all of your support here on the channel, guys. It really means the world. We're going to open up the reading by taking a look at your energy first. So let's begin the reading. Spirit, angels and guides, please show us the energy that is surrounding Cancer with regards to love in the upcoming days and week. Spirit, angels and guides, please show us the energy that is surrounding Cancer with regards to love in the upcoming days and week. Okay, I'm just going to split the deck, Cancer. We're going to take that pile. We're going to take from the top. First card. Oh, first card coming through is the Queen of Pentacles. Nice. I like that for you, Cancer. Okay, Cancer. So you're coming across as very grounded right now. Um, security is the priority here. The Queen of Pentacles, she values her security. She values stability. Mm. I feel that you are really just focusing on yourself. Okay, you're focusing on yourself and, and your security, perhaps even emotional security, maybe your financial security uh, is the priority here. Okay. Mm. Yeah, and I, I, I connect the Queen of Pentacles to your well-being. You, you know, she considers the overall health of her well-being. So that's mind, body and soul cancer. So I really feel that you're just right now focusing on all of those three things. Mind, body and soul. You know, doing what is necessary to nourish the mind, to nourish the body and to nourish the soul. OK, that's the priority here. Oh, wow. Look at this. We've got the Empress. That's a strong message, Cancer. That is a strong message. Mm. There's a lot of self-care that is happening here right now. <clears throat> All right, let's just grab another card. Five of Pentacles. Mm. There may be someone here that you're dealing with, Cancer, that has rejected you. Maybe this person has rejected you, but I feel like you're rejecting anything or anyone that isn't nourishing you supporting you and feeding you mind body and soul okay you're rejecting anyone who isn't good for you right now so there may be someone here that you're connecting to that you could be giving the flick or giving the cold shoulder because it doesn't support you that's why okay i, I really love the strength that is coming from the Empress and the Queen of Pentacles. It's a beautiful, it's a beautiful nurturing strength. Mm. Cancer, you have everything you need. Okay, you have everything you need right now because you're making that happen. And anything or anyone outside of you here that doesn't support you or doesn't add to your life in a meaningful way or even in a rich way, 
um, when I say rich, I mean like if, if this person or if these things don't enrich you, then it's, you know, you're giving them the flick, you're giving them the cold shoulder here. Mm. Yeah, I feel like you've got some firm boundaries in place here, Cancer. Firm, firm boundaries in place. You may feel that there is someone here that is um, being disrespectful towards you as well or isn't treating you, okay, isn't treating you with the respect that you deserve. Mm. But, but you're not feeling down about that. You're just, you're, you're witnessing this you're acknowledging this and you're doing something about it. Page of Pentacles. This is Earth Energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Yeah, see, the thing is, is you're coming in as the Queen of Pentacles. You've got the Page of Pentacles here. So there is definitely someone here that you are dealing with or connecting to that is on totally different, who's on a totally different page to you. Okay. I would consider the Page of Pentacles here um, as someone who is giving bare minimum to the relationship or is giving bare minimum to the connection. Whereas the Queen of Pentacles, she's very giving, she's very generous with her time, attention, energy, uh, all the things. Whereas this person here, the Page of Pentacles, I feel like this is your person. Um, they're not as generous in return. You know, it's maybe it's only when it's good for them or only when it suits them. Mm. Okay, what else? The Hermit card, Major Icona for Virgo. <clears throat> mm. I don't feel you're saying too much cancer the hermit card the hermit energy is quiet to me it's there's a quietness here I don't feel like you're saying too much um, you're just letting your actions do the talking Mm. yeah for some of you cancerians you've been guided here with the hermit here you've been guided by this star in the hermit card to really value yourself and respect yourself in this situation you know, especially if this person isn't respecting you or you feel like you're being disrespected, you're being guided to respect yourself in this situation. Mm. I feel like you're just keeping to yourself here, Cancer. I feel like you're the crab that's going into hermit mode here. And you're not letting anybody or anyone or anything penetrate your crab-like shell. Mm. I do see some uh, healing work surrounding you. You're being guided to do some healing work, Cancer. You're just being guided to focus on your dreams and, and what you desire and and how you want to feel. You've, you're, you're being guided to just focus on those things. <clears throat> the Six of Wands. I'm, I want to clarify that Six of Wands, okay? Mm. I feel like you're you're really disappointed in this person that you're connecting to. I feel like you've you're disappointed in them. 
Um, I'm just getting a disappointment around these two cards. Spirit, why is the Six of Wands here? Why is the Six of Wands here for Cancer? The Nine of Cups. Okay, that's clear. Yeah, I feel like right now, Cancer, you're just 100% solely focused on your happiness and what makes you happy. And I feel like as long as you stay focused on, on that, what you wish, what you desire for yourself, uh, you will have a victorious outcome and you will have a successful outcome here. Okay, it will be successful for you. Um, it will support you to focus on your happiness. Hmm. And there's, there, there is definitely a sense of victory or achievement uh, towards the end of the week, Cancer. That's what I'm getting. It, it feels like this man is making a toast and um, the man in the Six of Wands, he's being recognised or he's being seen for his hard work and his efforts. So I, I do feel that... Whatever you've been guided to do right now, Cancer, I feel like by the end of the week, you will feel a sense of accomplishment. Mm. I really like that for you, Cancer. Do I want to clarify anything else? I want to clarify this Five of Pentacles. I'm a bit curious. Just, just quickly, what, 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 why is the Five of Pentacles here, Spirit? Why is the Five of Pentacles here in Cancer's energy? <laughs> the Six of Wands. <laughs> Don't you just love when that happens? Yeah. So essentially what Spirit is saying here is to just give anyone the flick uh, that isn't supporting you or respecting you. Give anyone the flick that makes you feel a sense of rejection or abandonment because a relationship isn't about abandoning our favourite person, right? So, yeah, like what, like I was saying, essentially Spirit was saying that with the Six of Wands clarifying the Five of Pentacles, like this is a good move, okay? This is a good move. This is the best move. Yeah. Mm. I'm getting a nice feeling around this man on this horse. There's a sense of pride and there's a sense of feeling proud and it might be hard for you to do this because you're so caring and you're so giving and you're so loving and you're so nurturing. Um, it might be hard for you to give this person the flick or reject them at this time, but this card is saying you should be proud of yourself, Cancer. Okay, you should be proud. Um, Mm. Yeah, because energetically you're showing this person that you won't be walked all over, you know. You're not going to be walked all over and treated like that. Okay, let's take a look at your person's energy. So spirit angels and guides, please show me the energy of the person that Cancer is connecting to. Please show me the energy of the person that Cancer is connecting to. There could be someone here, sorry Cancer, Spirit's just sending another message in. There could be someone here that you're currently not talking to with the Hermit card. It may feel with the Six of Wands that this person wants to break this silence uh, to come towards you with the Six of Wands uh, to draw your attention, so to speak. 
But I don't feel like... I don't feel like you're going to entertain this person. Because that's why the Five of Pentacles is here. You, you're not going to entertain this person. All right. One more shuffle. Spirit, please show us the energy of the person that Cancer is connecting to and dealing with in love. Okay. There we go. Two of Pentacles. Yes, this person has been in and out. Uh, this person has been or is showing up wishy-washy. Mm. This person is showing up with one foot in, one foot out. What else? The Four of Swords. Okay, so yes, I feel like you and this person are not currently talking. And if you are talking... I feel like there's very little to no communication happening here between the both of you. Mm. I feel like this person is weighing up, weighing up the decision on whether or not they should uh, break this silence. So if they're not talking to you right now, they're kind of going back and forth. Okay, they're going back and forth with this idea of whether they should, you know, speak to you, talk to you. Because it seems like right now they're in a period of rest. You know, the Four of Swords speaks to a rest. Maybe this person took time out um, or took a step back uh, from the connection. Mm. And it seems like they have had a lot to think about. But there's there's just like this restless energy surrounding this person, Cancer. The sun. Mm. Mm. Could be a Leo. I feel like the reason why this person is restless is because this person needs or craves the attention here with the sun card. Okay, this person needs to be like essentially in the spotlight. They love being the center of attention. If this person has stopped talking to you, it's like they can't stay away too long. Hmm. Hmm, okay. What else? The Four of Pentacles. That's interesting. Four of Pentacles. Four of Pentacles and the Four of Swords. Yeah, so this person is showing me, Cancer, that they they have definitely withdrawn their energy from you. Okay, this person doesn't, they don't want to share. I'm getting someone who is very greedy or stingy. They don't want to share their energy with anybody. Um, I feel like this person is a taker. I'm actually getting like someone who is a taker, not a giver, Cancer. I'm getting it from the Sun card and I'm getting it from the Four of Pentacles. We'll clarify. We've got the Nine of Wands. And the Three of Pentacles. Nine of Wands, Three of Pentacles. Hmm. If you have set some boundary, because I do see the Nine of Wands as a card of boundaries, 
if you have set some boundary in place, I feel like this person, I feel like this person doesn't like it. They don't like the fact that you've set a boundary with them. Mm. I get that this person is sulking. I get someone who's kind of sulking here. Mm. Yeah, they're sulking, but I can see here with the three of pentacles that this person would like to collaborate with you here. I can see it. They, they would like to collaborate with you here. But it's like their pride and their ego is getting in the way of that collaboration. So let's, let's clarify. Um, I want to clarify the Four of Swords. Why is the Four of Swords here in this person's energy? Why is the Four of Swords here, Spirit? Page of Pentacles. Can you believe it? <laughs> so this is definitely this person. Definitely. So this person that you're dealing with, Cancer, they're not talking to you right now. Maybe they took a little time out from the connection, but they, there is a sense of feeling restless here. They're starting to feel restless. Mm. They are thinking about reaching out to you and sending you a message, perhaps a message to catch up, uh, meet up, hang out, because I see it here with the three of coins right three of pentacles sending you a message to catch up meet up hang out um they're definitely thinking about it mm. but i do sense procrastination here with the two of pentacles i sense that this person is hesitating and procrastinating why is the sun card here? Let me just shuffle the cards again. Why is the sun card here, Spirit? Why is the sun card here? Why is the sun card here? The nine of swords. Hmm. Yeah. They're worried. There's a, there's a sense of stress and worry, okay? Because like I said, Cancer, um, this person loves this person loves attention. They love being in the spotlight. Maybe they felt like you were giving them a lot of attention. I mean, you there's a six of wands coming out twice in your energy. So maybe this person felt like with you, you just made them feel, um, I don't know, like they had a big ego, like you, you stroked their ego is what I want to say. Uh, you made them feel really good about themselves. And they actually really like that. Okay, because this made this person very happy. Whatever you were doing here for them, being generous with your energy, your attention, your love, this made this person very happy. But I, I still can't help but feel that this person was a taker. Okay, they're a taker. There's a child in this card. And you know what children are like. Well, maybe not all of you know what children are like, but... Just think back to when you were a child and, and children just, they just, they're like, I call them um, life sucking creatures <laughs> as a joke. I have two of my own, so I can say that, right? <laughs> Love my kids to bits, but they suck the life out of you. And this is what's happening here with this 
person okay and and something tells me because they're still somewhat of a child themselves i mean they're coming in with the page of pentacles energy and and, and there's a child in the sun card what can we expect we can't expect too much from this person right and the thing is is i feel like that's where you're waking up to yourself here with the hermit card you're waking up to the fact that this person cannot give you what you need because they're still quite immature or they're still quite the child themselves and that and that's the thing right like with the empress and the queen of pentacles that's a very motherly energy right there that's a very nurturing energy right there you know but all good parents i want to say all good mothers but all good parents know that in order to be a good parent you've got to look after yourself first and i, I just feel like that's where you your energy comes in because you've been dealing with someone here who's been zapping you and taking from you now the reason why the nine of swords is here is because this person is worried that they're not going to get any more attention from you or they're just not getting anything from you full stop. Mm. Let's clarify the Four of Pentacles. Why is the Four of Pentacles here? Actually, you know what it is? This person is actually scared to reach out to you. That's what excuse me that's what it is four of pentacles and this the look on this man's face in the in the nine of wands this person is scared to reach out to you you know they're scared they're scared and worried of what you're going to say or how you're going to react or how you're going to respond eight of wands clarifying the four of pentacles the Eight of Wands, clarifying the Four of Pentacles. Mm. It feels like this person's going to let an opportunity pass them by. There is an opportunity here for them to reach out and to connect and to collaborate but i feel like they're going to let this i'm hearing here that they're going to let this opportunity pass them by because this man here isn't doing anything okay and these wands are just flying overhead so it's like oh yeah i'll just let let it pass by why is the nine of wands here the queen of cups yeah you've definitely put some kind of boundary in place with this person they don't like it mm. i i feel like what's happening here cancer with your person is they're still letting their ego uh, rule their decision making process okay um but again i feel like that's that's from a lack of growth on this person's behalf you know it's it really just goes to show here how emotionally immature they are. Mm. All right, so... Okay, so we've had a look at your energy and we've had a look at their energy. Um, let's see what their actions will be towards you. Let's see what action they will take towards you this week. So spirit angels and guides, what action will this person take towards cancer this week? What are their actions towards cancer this week? What are their actions towards cancer this week? Knight of Cups. Where do I want to put that? Knight of Cups. Hmm. Nine of Cups. Nine of Swords. Yeah, look, these, these three cards are basically just telling me here, Cancer, that 
you could be connecting to a water sign here, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Yeah, look, this person's got their guard up. You know, when I look at the Knight of Cups, he is a, he is a romantic uh, prince, knight, right? Uh, but he's got his guard up. He's got his armor on here. So I just feel that there's an insecurity coming in with your person. I mean, they do have an opportunity to approach you if they want to. But the fact that we've got these three cards following um, just tells me with the Nine of Swords that this person doesn't have the courage to face you or approach you or talk to you right now. They just don't have the courage. So they're going to, I don't know how else to say it. I feel like they're, they're just focusing on with the Nine of Cups, what, whatever's going to make them happy right now, or maybe whatever's gonna make them feel safe right now. They're going towards their Nine of Cups which we, we, we will clarify. Why is the Nine of Cups here with regards to this person's actions, Spirit? Why is the Nine of Cups here? Let's understand what this Nine of Cups is. Yeah, again, we've got a man in the Nine of Cups. His arms are crossed. His arms are folded. So I, I honestly don't see this person taking any action, Cancer. Yeah, they're, they're too in their head which I could, I could pick it up from the Sun card, right? Why is the Nine of Cups here? <laughs> the Two of Pentacles. Mm. Give me a moment, Cancer. Um. I'm going to grab another card. Oh, another two. Six of Cups and the Page of Swords. Six of Cups and the Page of Swords. Air Energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. See, they've got very young energy coming in here. I feel like what they will do is they will continue to maybe think about you or I do see the Page of Swords as someone who is spying. Okay, this person could be secretly watching you or spying on you because they miss you. They're missing you here. Mm. But I just see this person focusing on themselves. Yeah, they're not doing anything with their feelings, okay? They're not expressing them. They're not doing anything. Um, I feel like the reason why they're not going to take action towards you too, Cancer, is because the Two of Pentacles would indicate that nothing's really changed with this person. Okay, they're still one foot in, one foot out of the connection. They, they miss you. They miss having access to you. Because I, I do get a very selfish energy here. You know, mm. all right, that's all I'm drawing from that cancer. I'm going to grab some last parting messages for you guys. I'm just going to give the cards a bit of a shuffle. I do hope that this reading helps. Sorry, it's getting dark here this afternoon. I do hope that this reading has helped you in some way cancer uh, I hope that it was relatable please let me know if it spoke to you in any way last parting messages for our cancerians please spirit last parting messages 
we have Turtle Spirit. Slow and steady wins the race. Turtle Spirit. Slow and steady wins the race. Mm. That's the problem here. I feel like you were dealing with someone who was moving things very, very slowly. Very slowly. Okay. Um, I mean, you're all for steady because you're coming, you're opening up your own energy with the Queen of Pentacles, right? You're all for steady and you're all for as long as it's progressive. But I'm not seeing progression here. Okay, I'm not seeing things advancing here between the both of you. Not this week. No advancement this week. Otter spirit, you are never alone. Otter spirit, you are never alone. That's an interesting card. I like otters because otters are very sociable. They're very affectionate. Uh, they're very loving. So Cancer, I do want to say here that, you know, you've got some beautiful, I feel like this is a supportive energy. So this would be the energy of your friends or your family. You've just got some wonderful people around you that might be really supporting you uh, with your decision to respect yourself in this circumstance, okay? I just feel like you're hanging out with maybe a bestie. This is like your best friend or best friend energy. Mm. So surround yourself with someone who lifts your spirit up cancer and you've got dear spirit bring a gentle touch oh this is so queen of pentacles dear spirit bring a gentle touch this is my feminine energy the dear so i just want to say here cancer be kind to yourself don't be hard on yourself if you need to set a firm boundary with someone please do so um, it's, it is a form of self-love and it's a form of self-respect. Don't be hard on yourself with the fact that you have to assert yourself in this situation, okay? Um, and please always be guided by your intuition. You know, these tarot cards and these messages that are coming through are just, to, uh, you know, just use them as a guide only, but these messages do not trump your own intuition. Your intuition trumps all messages here. So there's your reading, Cancer. I do hope that was insightful and helpful. Feel free to drop a like in the comment section below if you enjoyed this reading, and I will see you in my next video. Bye, Cancer.